except because we're using Camtasia, this is going to be like an 18 hour long session. I mean, it won't be. It'll be like <laughs> three hours, but still. Hmm. Now comes Vagina. It's... Is it? Yeah, well, not immediately after this, but you have some shit to do. But I think that's it. Isn't that the last boss you have to do before Vagina? God damn it, Ross. Stop calling it that. Look, I'm only going to be calling it that for the length of time that we have to be in this area, which is very short. Boink. Boink. I think there was a way to get an energy tank in that room you were just in. With the flamethrower. I seem to recall that. I'm uh, not sure. I think you're right, actually. Am I right? Ross is right about something? That's rare. Yeah, I seem to recall there being like a missileable wall. Missileable. Like that. That's a that's a word. That's neologism for you. What the hell's that? The oh. creation of a new word. Yeah, look at that. Energy, Energy spike. spike. Okay. Yeah, it's plant. The furnace. No, that's a different room. The furnace. The flagra, flagra is in... Oh, it's missiles. It's my energy tank. Whatever. It's something. It, I will take it. I mean, you were complaining about missile running out because everything requires it. Imagine if this was like Metroid 1, though, where it took five missiles or ten missiles oh or some God. shit like that. But you get a lot of more missiles in those games. And they're weaker in those games. In this game, the missiles are fucking really powerful. Oh yeah, they are. <coughs> yeah, well, probably my only but real complaint about this game is um I don't want to say the bosses are easy. They're they're not aggressive if I could take a page out of King K's book. They're like the Super Metroid bosses are a lot like spazzier because they're they in are. two dimensions. But in, when you get to the third dimension, they're a little bit more deliberate. Yeah, but there's like they're, it's like they get they give you very big windows to shoot them because they had to adjust for this probably being some people's first three D game. I suppose. And it's Nintendo, so it gets a little easier over time. Oh, damn it, I gotta drain the acid again. I'm just trying to think of the other M bosses, because that's really, like the only other point of reference I can really make. Having that that's the only Metroid game I've ever completed. Other M is the only Metroid game you've completed. Yeah, just just other M. I've seen the completion of Super Metroid, Metroid One, I've seen Metroid Two even. I've seen uh Zero Mission, Fusion. Uh, again, other M. I don't know if I've seen uh, Samus Returns, but that's basically two, just like with a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> uh, is there any other Metroid games? Is that all of them? There's other ones, right? Oh yeah, there's the DS. Okay. Zero mission? No, I said Zero Mission. No, uh, the the fucking me. soccer game I've never seen. Metroid Prime Pinball. Metroid Federation Force I've never seen. Uh, the the one on the DS that people say is good, or not the DS. Metro Prime three. Hunters? Yeah. Is that what that is? That one people say is good. I don't know if they say it's great, but they say it's okay. That one I've never seen. That's basically just Metroid Prime on the, the Game Boy or oh, the DS. The DS, yeah. Which sounds fun. That sounds like something I could get behind. Oh, but yeah, it's the only point of reference. I can't really remember the Metroid other M bosses. I just remember Silly Ridley and Samus's like, panic face. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I also remember this asshole that required power bombs, but for some reason the power bombs wouldn't work for me, and he just had the ability to one-shot you. It was great. That was a fun fight. <laughs> oh, is that the final boss? That was... What the yes, that was the final boss. Oh, my girlfriend is calling me. Oh, you know what was really oh. fun? <laughs> I gotta take a phone call. No, you're good. The actual final boss. Hello? Hey, babe. The what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I put it in the lottery drawer. How to get... 
I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, mm -hmm. well, listen, you actually caught me while recording with Ross. Okay, I can do that. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I can call you back later. If I don't see you before beforehand. Okay. Boop. Alright. Alright, love you, babe. Bye. So we can edit that out, right? <laughs> Maybe, if I remember. You know, it's always the question about editing shit out for Ross. It's like, does Ross remember? No. Too bad. Oh, jeez. What have I done? You and the acid, man. I mean, what can I say? Me and the... <laughs> I just, Do you I know where you're going? Something. I think so. I want to go to the watery thing. Because I, I can't see how to get to the furnace. So I assume it's from this. Right? That would make the most sense? Maybe? I don't know. So I'm going to do that. Also, is this scannable? Yes, it is. Toxicity level critical. It's Tumblr. Oh my god. Toxicity level critical. It's an Xbox 360 uh, <laughs> live game. Oh god. I think the 360 was the pinnacle of toxicity because of oh how God. cheap the system was and how yeah, cause, like, popular it was. Every kid had one. That and... Oh, my God. It was a little bit before kids became a little bit smart about being toxic. That paired with, um... Like, Halo... Call of, Call of and Duty. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty 4, World at War. Call of Duty... Destroyed Probably had to be the everything. most toxic game environment ever. Uh, it's debatable. Nowadays, you could say something like Rust or League have very toxic environments. League, in particular, is very toxic, but that's like adults being toxic and bad and mad at you for being bad at the game, <laughs> or good at the game. Usually, they're just mad at you if you're bad at the game. Uh, to your yep, yeah, right there. Turn into a ball. Oh shit! Yeah. Boing. Oh, what do we have here, Samus? Oh. Need both power-ups. Okay, it didn't need to be two doors. Oh, uh, what? damn it. It needs one of those spider tracks. Ah, poop. I know this. Isn't this the room where you get super missiles? I... No. No, the room where you get super missiles is like a big climbing section. I remember that. Yeah, that and it's in... um. It's in Fendrana Drifts. Is it? I could have sworn it was here. This game makes you backtrack a lot. It does. Super Metroid's a little bit better about that, because when it makes you backtrack, there's a bunch of shortcuts you can take. I mean, there are in Metroid Prime, but they're a little bit more, uh... Like, th that's where the slow walking really becomes an issue. And I oh, feel wait, like... I think you can, you can break that thing apart. Oh, right. There, you, there go. you go. Well, it wasn't totally right. worthless. There you go. We take those. All right, let's get out of here. I feel like if they do Metroid Prime Four properly, they'll add in the ability to fast travel. Not like everywhere. Like there'll be stations for it, obviously, so it doesn't bust the game. They did that in Metroid Prime Three to a certain degree. Yeah, but, but that's because your ship was always with you. Yeah. They made that ship very, very useful. Uh, it's quite, quite a big crutch. Uh, not exactly, actually. I need to blow all my... Right now, one of King K's still uh, getting hit by one. biggest criticisms for Metro Prime 3 was that 1 and 2, you're supposed to feel like you're alone. In Metro Prime 3, like, you're not alone. Like, you got people talking to you all the time. It's a bit of a different perspective. I feel like 3 is Other M done correctly. Or at least a little bit more correctly. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Because Other M sort of takes into aspect, like, Samus's impact on other people as well. Which is a cool perspective, and I like it. It's just, I wish it was done correctly. <laughs> like, Samus actually had a personality other than Adam's bitch. <laughs> Which she does, but for some reason in that game, she didn't. She was kind of 
whiny and insufferable. <laughs> I mean, not really. Samus is not the worst part of that game. I honestly think Malkovich was a fucking... <laughs> so, was a very big problem with that game. Also, getting lost was very easy in other M, and some stuff was just not intuitive at all. And that part with the lava snake, that was mean. They shouldn't have done that. That was mean. He, he gobbled me. And I just... Also, the checkpoint system in other M. You know, I'm just gonna give you this. Go to Flagra. Uh, I mean, you're actually in the right room. Yeah, I thought about it. If I remember correctly. Oh, so, yeah, because there's just this exit here. It's like that charge beam room, so we have to find the, um, all the locks again. These yep. things. Yeah. I'm gonna just walk here by accident. Could be. Do you get another energy tank before you fight Flagina? Um... I'm sure you could. I just don't remember where. That would really help. Because I feel like if I fight that bitch with two energy tanks, or just like, I'll be a little bit more confident. Versus just one. Having 198 HP isn't very... safe. Uh, oh. Hey. Those weeds hurt you. I don't understand how. But they do. And it acts like she's getting poisoned when she touches them. I'm just like, wait a minute. Like, I get the acid because it wears down on the suit. But how the fuck is the plant doing that? I'm poison-tipped plant. I don't know. Corrosive plants are a thing. Yep, yeah, I guess corrosive plants. But usually, those are very slow. And they trap you. So they have the time to, like, corrode oh, you. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's true. Because you well, got, like, we're the, not on Earth. You got pitch plants, and you got uh, Venus flytraps. Pitch plants are definitely a lot better than Venus flytraps. Pitcher plants. Yeah, those things are insane. They just, like, eat whole birds. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, plant. Couldn't you just use photosynthesis like the rest of these, like, nice gentlemen? Oh, well, no, they can't, because that's... I actually think they can photosynthesis. They... they... Th to a certain degree, but where they are indigenous, yes. um, there's plenty of shit they, that'll fly into they, them. That and because like there's not a whole lot of nutrients in the ground. That must be a fucked up death. That's like in uh, in Naruto when he gets swallowed by the snake. <laughs> that yeah, was an utterly random reference. But then he ex expands or not? He um, he shadow clones. He shower. He and shadow clones. Makes the, the snake explode. <laughs> That poor snake. You know, that part didn't make sense to me, because all it takes for Naruto to lose a clone is, like, one punch. So, wouldn't, in theory, all of his clones bunching up together, like, break his own clone? I mean, it's not just one punch. It's, like, it's a pretty lethal blow to take out a clone. No, it, it really isn't. Sometimes it just takes, like, a light hit. Like, that's always how it felt to me. They felt like, uh, like how Double Team is portrayed in Pokemon. Uh, Except like the shadows actually like take the damage versus the the, the double team where they they don't they just disappear. It's like a blow actually has to be placed on them. To me, a lethal blow, but like not that lethal is like what happens with the Zetsu. This is an utterly random topic. How did we get here again? <laughs> it was like a topic that we, happened we one about minute ago. Biology, and then we went to Naruto getting swallowed by a snake. Oh, that's right, because like. The pitch plant. Pitcher plants. That still has to be, like, the, one of the worst deaths possible. Like, Victory Bell, the pitcher plant Pokemon. Is there a Venus Flytrap Pokemon? I'm pretty sure there is. Yes. It is from Gen 4. It's called Carnivine. Oh, yeah, that's right. James is Carnivine. And also a Victory Bell. He really likes those venomous plants. He, uh, carnivorous plants. Yeah, he, he likes them for some reason. And they, they like him. They always eat him. <laughs> I feel bad. There's a part in the Pokemon manga where a Victory Bell almost eats the trainer. That's pretty fucking hardcore for a Pokemon. The manga's insane. It has zombie Pokemon being cut in half. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's some wacky shit. Also, did you know that Lieutenant Surge, Blaine, and Sabrina all are a part of Team Rocket, apparently? According to the Pokemon manga? 
Lieutenant Surge. Lieutenant fucking Surge, American hero, <laughs> is part of Team oh, so Rocket. Does he make you not feel so patriotic anymore, Ross? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I mean, I like Team Rocket. They're a bunch of gangsters. Instead I mean, of Team fucking Yell. They're pretty... Team Yell? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to experience them. What? Wait, that's the one I was missing. I thought I got that one already. Maybe. No, it looked like you got. Maybe you just like bumped away a second before it fully scanned. Ah oh, no! Damn it! 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 Now, if this was the B boss, there wouldn't be a way to jump back on that platform. You just die. Uh, yeah, it'd be. I'd be. Fuck. I mean, there is. I think you actually walk up the platform is how the B-Boss works. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't like that boss. It's best to just not fall. Is that it? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, I saw that for a second. I'm like, well, there it is. The door. The door! And you still have to break something. That's fine. I like breaking things. Why did the Chozo of have a son of That was nice. Why did the Chozo have a door that leads to a rock? Can the Chozo roll into balls? I think they can actually. They they can. Yeah, they can. Uh, yeah, because they, the, they do. And like when you the, see the statues and the Super Chozo Metroid. designed Samus's suit. How the fuck did they get her to curl into a ball? Cho they inserted some of their DNA into her. It Injected it into her. She's got some Chozo DNA in her. That's how she's so, like, nimble and strong. She's insane. Also, you need a bomb. And I think Samus's cannon height is actually, like, six foot three. Oh, she's enormous. Oh, yeah, she's tall. She's really she's, tall. She's a tall bitch. I have no problems with that. I actually thought she was, like, closer to seven... Nah, she's not that tall. And 6'3 is, isn't that tall. That's yeah. pretty damn tall it's just for a, a female. It's a tall dude. But like, that's, I guess for a female. That's four inches on me. For a female, yeah, that is really tall. For a female, that is huge. <laughs> tall girl ain't got nothing on her on Samus Aaron. I think there's a save room somewhere. Because I think you're heading towards Plant Gina. Uh, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, that's that. That's, that's Plan China. It is. Uh, you need to find a save room before you go charge that bitch. I mean, I could probably handle it. Yeah, but I want to be the one to finally beat this bitch because I've never done it. Yeah, let's find a save room. You're right. This has to be my uh, my swan song Just... on the channel. <laughs> the last video we ever up. <laughs> yeah, you you really want to defeat this boss? Just this boss? Right? Just this boss? This is the whole reason. This is this is so the accomplishment. Not, so we're not going through the rest of Metroid Prime, just beating Flareg. Oh, we'll go through the rest of this because oh, I'm sure I'll find something way harder than Plant Gina, but probably, I, I just need to beat this thing. The easiest one is probably also my favorite one. Uh, Where the Th hell is the save room? Thardis. Do you remember Thardis? Is that the ice one? Yes. That one's fun. It's a giant rock. Yeah. That one's easy or hard? He's the easiest. In the game? Uh, yeah, I think so. How's he the easiest boss in the game? He's really slow. Okay, well, also you should scan that. <clears throat> Some chosen I'd, I'd say that the Parasite Queen is the easiest. Oh, yeah, I don't think... Well, Actually, she, that's a lie. That's the, the, a char the Charger loser is easier. It's a tutorial boss. Okay, so you're talking about, like, big, big old the, bosses. The actual big bosses. Big. The ones that get, like, a health bar. Yeah. Okay. So Parasite Queen, I don't think she counts, because, no. Tutorial. Son of a bitch! Bum, 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 there's no save room over there. Just a big lava pit. And your death. Where the hell's the save room? Oh, okay, right there. Okay, just a couple rooms away. That's fair. That room's not even where you go when you actually get to Magmore Caverns. No, it's not. It's just a hot room in Chozo Ruins. I think you can't do anything with that until you get the gravity or the uh, the whip. The <laughs> whatever the grapple that beam. Yeah. Okay. 
Also, casual map spoilers for all the beams in the game. Way to go. I mean, to be fair, all those beams appeared in Super Metroid. So... I forget if the plasma beam was as beans as it is in this game. Because it's stupid broken in this game. I love I love <coughs> plasma beam in this game. It kind of just breaks everything once you get it. It does. I don't think it was the case in uh, Super Metroid. In Super Metroid, what it does is that it can it phases through enemies. So it, you can shoot multiple enemies at once. Yeah, that's what it does, yeah. See, that's one thing I didn't like about other M and Super Metroid, in a way, is that it combines the beams. I like how Metroid Prime separates them, so it, it makes, like, all your beams useful. In Super Metroid, you can separate the beams. It's just... Oh, yeah, you have to turn them off. That's right. Yeah. Other M is stupid, and you once you get the ice beam, it'll look like the ice beam for the rest of the game. It does, yeah. I'm and just I, like, why? To be fair, like, Other M is the direct sequel to Super Metroid. Yeah, but w w what happened to the direct sequel where all of a sudden she can't turn off her fucking beams? <laughs> it's like, oops, Adam didn't authorize me turning off my <laughs> to beams. To turn off my weapons. He also doesn't authorize me to turn them on. Adam, I, I'm a dog, basically. <laughs> God. Rough, rough, Adam. Jesus. Step on me, Adam. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> I mean, it's just like... It's the whole game. <laughs> Samish, you've been a very naughty girl lately. I can't believe I missed you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you like the constant shit I send you on my phone? Oh my god. I send you some of the weirdest nonsense, and it's not even the worst of the... You know, one day we'll get you in the Discord, and you will see true nonsense. Because then it's like three Rosses sending you random shit. Oh, no. I mean, One of them's a girl, so she won't send as weird shit. I mean, I do... <laughs> I mean, she'll send some That's weird true. shit. Yeah. Depends on the girl. Zuber Zub is actually the grand shit lord champion of sending weird fucking nonsense. That makes... That surprises me almost zero. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that He made... Uh, he found a channel called Tobe, and it's about a dog and a Japanese guy doing English voice work for the dog. There you go. Also, before I jump in... Oh yeah, that might help. There you go. Full health. Missiles? No. You have full missiles. Yeah, okay. Alright, Flagina. It's not Flagina. I'm just gonna shoot him from the doorway. Can't stop me. It's like going. Oh, it's like bouncing off her. I think it's a male. Um, I could be wrong. Boom! Oh Jesus Christ! All right, I forget how to fight this thing too. I mean, slightly remember. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, this fucking nonsense! Yeah, yeah. Hello, Scyther. So, the uh, the plant of the Chozos, huh? Really nice looking, overall. Standard morph ball slot. I'm a standard morph ball slot. Uh, ooh. Flagra. Please scan the thing, Samus. Oh, for fuck's sake, Samus. Samus, you're really busting my chops here. It's gotta keep sidestepping. There you go. Vagina. Flagra! Dude, not gonna lie. This thing is actually really badass looking. It is. So Scyther. I think Scyther is in uh, the game. Alright, so... This. Then that way I can dodge. Cool. So I want to, like, shoot him. To get him to get pissed off. Oh, you want to stun him. Yeah. There you go. Now, now you can... Not that. What do I have to shoot? The one that's on. Oh, that's right. Do I have to charge beam it? You have to get behind it. Oh, I have to... Oh, that's right. And then... Uh, Alright, knocks there that go. up. And then you go and power bomb the bitch. Just a regular bomb. We don't have power bombs yet. Well, 
you use the power of your bombs to bomb the bitch. Sure. That's stage one. All right, cool. You just got to do that three more times, each with increasing difficulty. Exactly. That's that's where it gets worse. Man, couldn't it just die right right now? As our uh, old teacher would say, I'm afraid not. Afraid not. Afraid not. Quarter pounder. Oh, Harold. I see him at ShopRite sometimes. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck are you doing, my man? There you go. Alright, now we just gotta sidestep our butt on over to the other one. Fuck off. There you go. Alright, which one? This one? Or does it not matter? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Watch me just right. one You're one cycle this. Doing pretty well, Ross. I forget what makes this extra hard. I think something just makes this way harder. Maybe it's just the fact that there's three of them. I'm 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 contemplating using missiles after I knock him down the first time, just so I have as much time as oh that that. Damn, that was all right. Not gonna lie, that was actually legit terrifying. It's like hello. I'm here. Oh, is he he's stunned already? Oops. Oh, he's waking up! He's roiding out, man! Fuck off. Alright, there you go. See, you got this. The actual hard challenge all this time was the fucking bees. <laughs> the hardest part of today was fighting a beehive. What the? Oh, <laughs> he just had to whip me one time before I, I got him. He's a, he's a sore loser. Man, you get such a good reward for doing this, too. You get to make Samus look purple. Or no, do you? No, this is the Varya suit. Oh, You're, no. We no, already no. got our suit back. Okay. Where's the one where you get to look purple? Oh, uh, that's the gravity suit. Oh, oh right. Okay. Oh, the that's what the challenge is. He does like a fuckload of damage. That's right. Yeah, that's why he hurts. Like, a lot. Use your missiles on him. Alright, he's stunned. Can I, like, keep shooting him? Uh, I don't think it keeps him any more stunned. Wrong button! Yeah, fuck off. That's it. Missile time. Alright, you're good. Eh, eh, One more. Eh. Eh, eh. Fuck you. Oh yeah, you got him. Uh, where's the? Oh, it's all the way, way over there. You gotta go the other way around. Yeah. Why is there only one? Why is there only one? This is they get, they get destroyed. Uh, why'd I have to? You fucking son of a bitch. He's <laughs> like so whoop. Man, there it goes. Oh man! Oosh, there goes the mop. That was cute. That's what happens. That's right. Now I remember. I feel like you're just creating memories. Then it's very possible. I think you're you're just making excuses. As you can see, this boss in Exhibit A makes me want to tear my hair out. All right, where do we have to go again? Isn't it like left? And then continue along the path. Uh, look for the... Uh, yes, go that way. Steam. Alright. Can't break that. Alright, I'm just gonna blow that up so the bees don't fuck with me. <coughs> I just noticed I move a lot more deliberately than you do. The bees came out anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple hives. No, wait a minute. 
Good button. I'm just going to be messing up Y and X the entire game. Get ready for it. Oh, oh, oh man. Just testing the edge of my feet. Mm -hmm. Now I need to make sure I get some extra missile. Well, actually, I only ended up using like two missiles against yeah, this guy. Yeah, still have 12 shots left. Do I have 12? Yeah, I do have 12. Okay. Okay, plants. Just don't disappear, that's fine. These are like mini flaginas. God damn it. Alright. Round two, you sack of shit. Give me missiles. No missiles. Hey, oh. you're good. We are golden, right. bunny boy. Flagine Simmons, let's go. Excuse me, what now? Let's just call him something different every time. How about just call it by what it is? Scyther. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one. Bugsy. <laughs> Bubsy, the cat? No, Bugsy, Bugsy. uh... The final gym leader of po Gen... No, he's like the second gym leader. I was gonna say, what bug type? The one everyone leader? thought was a female. Is it... Well, you already stunned him. Yeah, I use charge shots. It makes it a lot faster. I should be just doing that. Okay, yeah, we've, we've seen this song and dance before. You know what Samus needs to invest in? What's that? A chainsaw. Just like one of her beams should just be short range, stupid rapid fire chainsaw, and then she could just go up and like cut this guy's like pincers off, and there you go. Fight's like eighteen times easier. I've I've always wanted to see Samus extend some kind of like plasma blade from her arm cannon. See, that's what I'm saying. Like that would work too. That I think that would be cool. Hey Ross, maybe if you didn't hit like the wrong button, like kill things faster. <laughs> Like, hey, how's it going, Paisano? It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. All oh, right, that's why I use charge shots. That's right. All right, well, I was slow in this round, so get get back up. There you go. You pretty much have all the freedom in the world if you like know when she gets back up. All right, lay down, your sleepy head. <laughs> it actually thuds you up. Like, boink. It really doesn't have to shrink every single time. The game's like, look, you actually killed it this time. <laughs> nope, you thought. Can we also ask why the the mirrors are getting flipped over? Like, how's it, how's it do? Ow. That is a scary face. That is actually terrifying. It has like a skull for a face. It does. No, you know what the this thing reminds? It's uh have you seen Stephen King's The Mist? Uh no. It you know what it actually reminds me of? What? Like that creepy bug from Honey We Shrunk the Kids. You mean the scorpion? Yeah. Huh. Or, I think or it was ant. a scorpion. There was a scorpion and an ant. Yeah, it, it could be either or. They befriended the ant. Yeah, the ant was actually cool though. The scorpion was an asshole. And also the ant died. <laughs> Why was there a scorpion? Oh yeah, it was because it was like one of their pets. Was it? I think so. I mean, why else would there be a fucking scorpion in their yard? What, do they live in Texas? Maybe. Who knows? No, I'm serious. If you, wa if you watch uh, The Mist, based on the novella by Stephen King, um, yeah, a lot of the creatures actually look like this thing. Where they, they're like alien creatures, but their faces resemble like human skulls. There, there's like a giant spider, a giant mantis thing, uh, something with tentacles. You don't actually see the whole body of it. You only see the tentacles, and it eats a dude. I swear to God, he better not like block off this path. I'm like right here. Hey, feels bad, man. Also, that was way easier. I you guess I was him. just lazy. Who the fuck knows? 
So in conclusion, the Wasp is still the hardest boss I fought in this game. So far. I died to that three times. Alright. Well, Magmore... Kajina time. Think, yep, Magmore Caverns is next, I believe. <coughs> I'm trying to remember, like, what are all the... Because a traditional Metroid game has, like, four major bosses. And then the uh, final boss. Yeah, there isn't one in Magmore Caverns, is there? I don't think so. I don't remember. The most out-of-place item pickup. I know, right? you think it would be, like, in the center of the room, too. No, I, I'm just talking about the fact that it's just, like, an emblem. And it's not, like, a suit. It's just... It's just a... Just a big Samus S. <laughs> oh, well. Time to get bulky shoulders. So now we, we've officially yeah, gotten back everything. The most everything impractical ex shoulders. Yeah, we've gotten back everything except for the, the hook. The hook's me bucko. The grappling beam. This is just T-posing, Samus. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh no, X-posing. It's, it's pretty much a T-pose. I know. Alright, so we got the Flagra gives you the uh, Vargas suit. <coughs> yep. Let's see. And I think the next... Uh, the big rock man gives you a spider ball. He does, yeah, spider ball. Which is kind of a lame power-up compared to this also. Spider ball is awesome. I mean, it's awesome, but compared to, like, a big bulky shoulders, man. <laughs> also, guess who I didn't scan? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well. It's fine. Plot hole. Let's just Ooh, we're go. We're going somewhere. Yeah, we're going to Magmore. We're out of here. I think. Turn around. You oh, went the wrong. Yeah, look at that. No, you're going back. Oh, wait. No, I'm going the correct way. Yeah, you're going the right way. My bad. Oh, this asshole. I mean, wave beams kill these dudes. Yep. Pulse Bamu. So just don't charge your shot. Oh, I'm charging my shot. Yeah, that's how he works. Yep, he's an asshole. Uh, I love how in Metroid 1, you basically get the choice between the plasma beam and the ice beam. Oh, I remember. Okay, so the third major boss is um, the Omega Pirate, and he gives you the Phazon suit. Oh yeah, the and phase on suit. The phase on suit yeah. is badass. Samus has never looked it, better. It's than like the every suit. Edge Lord's favorite suit. <laughs> Next to like the white suit from uh Oh the light suit from uh Metro Prime 2. Yeah, that one looks really cool. It is too. cool. Like, if you're into white suits, those are nice. I know some people just aren't really into when that. Edge Lords are like white. Yeah, well. I think it just makes her look classy as shit. Ooh, very rare. Ultra energy. Is there another hive or something? I believe there is. There, there's yeah, there are. Yeah, there are. Just leave this room. There's no reason to be in here. Well, I want to destroy them. And all they stand for. Yeah, they put a bunch of fucking hives in here. Is there, like, any reason at all? Well, there's this. Oh, you can break that. Uh, guess not. Power bomb? I think you need super missiles. Really? Yeah, okay. Slightly cracked. Okay, then. Not, not part of my day. Also, for some reason, you can scan the doors on, like, the friggin' orphan. <laughs> not in this. Not, not, not here. here. No. They, they're just like, alright, we're done with that mechanic. That mechanic was dumb. No more scanning doors. We don't want you to be, like, Spending eight years scanning doors. There's all kinds of doors actually leading out of here. Is there any shortcuts that we can make? I think this. What the fuck? Oh, morph ball. Be a morph ball. Ah. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Just stop the bomb shit. Just wait. Have some fucking patience. 
Nah. All right. Is this going to plot me out somewhere where I have to do a bunch of backtracking? I don't think so. Oh, cool shit. Uh, this is to test how well you can jump with morph balls. Oh, this shit. All oh, right. Huh? Oh, yeah. It's like that. <clears throat> All right, so. All right, well, not here. All right. Got to go around. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think Super, uh, Super Metro did this a little bit better. Ah, this. That's how that works. Alright, so I just have to do it this. Alright, that'll be easy then. Alright, so maybe like, really wait. Oh, you almost had... So right. you want to place the second bomb just before the first one explodes. Okay. Poop. Okay, for fuck's sake. I think what? you want to play, place the last place the last bomb a little earlier, not necessarily at the top of your jump. Okay then. Damn it, man! Hey, there you got we it. Go, I did it. I was obnoxious. All right, got the hard one. <laughs> even, even, well, you have to get that's all funny. of them. Well, you... I didn't. Re I thought I was bombing them actually. Oops. That's funny. Yeah, you just have to go inside. Alright, I win. Oh, for a fucking missile expansion. Well, welcome to Metroid. Where 95% of the pickups are missile expansions. Was there 255 missiles in this game? I think so, yeah. You get like 5 for picking up super missiles. You get 5 for picking up regular missiles. Other 245, just go find them, asshole. Like, oh, okay. You could probably get through this whole game with, like, 80 missiles. Ooh. Hello there. Have I scanned you yet? Hello there. This Try way... Try back up a little bit. This was very worth it. It looks like the battery power-up from, um... <clears throat> Actually, no, it doesn't... Toy Story 2, yes. Yes. Oh, wow, you were thinking the same thing as me. Holy yes. shit. I'm surprised you were thinking of Toy Story 2. I don't even know you played Toy that Story game. Story 2. There are several variants of it, but yes, it does look like the Toy Story 2 battery. I doubt there's any inspiration, but, you know, batteries look like batteries, so. You know, I actually have Toy Story 2 on N64. We could play that sometime. Oh my god. I think I did a stream of it. I didn't get anywhere. That was like one of my earlier streams. Alright, now we can make our way downstairs. Uh, actually, there's another door. We've been in there. No, there's another door, as you can see. I think. This, where's this lead? Yeah, see, this is totally different. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure where this leads. I don't know if I want to break those just yet. I think they replenish themselves. Okay. Get a little crushed. Just some extra puzzles and fun shit shenanigans. I should go save, but there's a save point in Magmore pretty early on. Why is there just, like, an excavation? No, yeah, you don't need to go out of your way to save. Like, you'll find a safe spot. Yeah. The fuck? Uh, we're back here. Oh, wait, but you can, um... There's some other stuff I can get, right? I can go scan the Chozo things, like, way back at the beginning. It's super not... Ross, we'll be... Like, this game forces you to backtrack. We'll yeah, eventually go back there. Just get some Magmore Caverns. Energy spiked it. Oh, oh the, the game's yelling furnace. Right. I forgot about All that. Alright, sorry, Navi. Press Z. You know, I just realized... Her name's Navi because she's the navigator. Yes, I know. That's funny. 
Oh, that's not fucking far away or anything. Like, I got the tattle joke before I got the nappy joke. <laughs> tattle and tail. Tattle tail. That's more the fact that, like, tattle is, like... It, that's also an ability in Paper Mario. Tattle? Yep. What exactly does that mean? Uh, tattle just means a, to like, tell. Just a... Like, if you're a tattle tell, you tell on somebody. Yeah, okay. But also, if you, like, tattle, it means you explain something. Not necessarily something mm -hmm. that was supposed to be secret. So then what about the fairy that. in Hyrule Warriors named Proxy? Uh, that's a computer, Could... so like a proxy. I don't, well, I don't, like, the root word as a proxy basically just means closer. Yeah. Mm, she mentally gets you closer. It's, it's like a computer proxy. You, you know, look, I'm trying to sound smart, but I'm actually not, so... <laughs> I'm sure if we ask Zuper, he'll give you, like, an actual definition. Oh, I'm sure he will. He'll pull something out of his ass. No, he actually uh, is pretty damn smart. He goes to college, like Plankton, except not community college. I went to college! Wait, does yeah, he go to, talking. like, an actual university? Yeah, he does. I went for a little while, but now I'm just earning more money as I go and be an Amazon slave. <laughs> uh, for a worker bee. A gotta drone. Go. A deer, you're an Amazon drone. <laughs> yeah, I am an Amazon drone. You know, I think there was a program where I could have, like, went and started uh, flying drones. That would have been fun. I think I'll do that sometime. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, that was your save room you just missed. This is the save room. No, it's not. No, is it? I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, I guess it is the save room. Okay. I guess they really want to make sure you grab the save room, so they put it right on the beaten path. Boink. Oh, yeah, from this point on, they're all blocked with missiles, aren't they? think so. That's kind of like the gimmick. Alright, Magmar Caverns is you for a little while, I guess. Alrighty. Now comes the saddest part of the music being quiet. Not getting to hear the best song in the game. Oh, for real. Once you open that door, th or is it the next door? It's the next door. It's one of the doors. No, no, the music just starts. For the longest time, I was wondering why when you went to the lava area of Metroid Prime, I'm like, why is this song not playing? I, I know there's a Metroid Prime, or, or I know there's a Super Met, Met, yeah, fuck, Metroid version of this song. It exists. It's just like in one specific area of the lava place. It's also a lot slower, more deliberate in Super Metroid. There it is. Well, as we all know, lava is not nearly as scary as acid, apparently. Wow, okay, so these things are literally just called magmores. Yeah, because it's their cavern. They prefer extreme heat, but they can they can deal with a chilly day. They spew lava from their mouth. Oh, it looks like just fire, but okay. Also, probably the most violent death in the entire fucking game. You just blow their damn head off. Metroid Prime was pretty metal. See, look look how much more damage the acid did to you than the lava. <laughs> you just took like 30 health versus the lava where you sat in Oh my god! Wow, that had like some concussive blast to it. Good platform. Come on, if I keep jumping, it'll eventually rise high enough. There we go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, fuck off, dude. You're getting your ass kicked. This is my more caverns. The game sort of just starts, like, stops fucking around once you get to this <sighs> point. It's like, alright, alright, turning gloves are off, kids. Here you go. Welcome to Death Lava Land. <laughs> Death Lava Land. How on earth did they do such a good job with this game when it's not even technically Nintendo? When they went and gave it to some other company? Retro Studios. Who's barely done, like, any games other than... You know, what What else has Retro Studios done? I think they did the, uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. That They did, actually, that's true. That is such a random game for them to have also done, but they did do that. That is c correct. 
Also, these things remind me the most of Dodongos. <laughs> They're like really small mini Dodongos because you fight them the same way. They eat you and they eat your power bombs. All right, let's look this up. Oh, that's 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 misty. Thank God they're making Metroid Prime Four, and not who, whoever was making it before Nintendo's. Like, all right, uh, yeah, we're throwing it to them. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. The I mean, fact that we're waiting this long faith. for it tells me it's gonna be good. I have faith that they'll do. Uh... What games is Retro Studio made? Uh, obviously all the Metroid Prime. And the Donkey Kong Country. Okay, so they also did Country. Oh, uh, is that Donkey... The new Donkey Kong Country? Let's find Donkey out. Donkey Kong... Is it Donkey Kong Country Returns, or just Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, the very first game they made was 2002. With Metroid... This was their first game. Wow. Like, what a... What a... How to... How to knock they, it out of the way park? To, way to debut a gaming company. Why the fuck didn't they pick that to give it... They, they must have been... Stu they tried to make Metroid Other M in-house, I think. I don't remember what they did. It was dumb, whatever they did. They were like, eh, you know, we did okay with Super Metroid. We can do it again. Well, it's, I guess it's kind of like how Spider-Man is part of both Sony and Marvel. It's like that. I guess. So, they, they did Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's correct. They also did Mario Kart 7 for some reason. Huh. And that's it. In fact, it does not look like they did Jungle Beat. Really? Uh. So was Jungle Beat by Rareware Studios? They had a they had a canceled game called Action Adventure, which was the working title, and the genre action. was Action Adventure. Action Adventure. What a good name! NFL Retro Football. That sounds like it was canceled. Car Combat, Thunder... Thunder Rally! Oh, no. Thank God they stopped that. Thunder Rally was a Game Boy Advance game, and it fucking sucked the big one. Raven Blade. They canceled that so they could focus on Metroid Prime. Good call. I mean, that would also been... It's a role-playing video... An RPG? Okay. That would have been interesting, whatever that was. I mean, I have faith. I wish they make more games now, now, knowing that they have such a good track record. They literally have not made a bad game, as far as I can tell. I mean, unless you count, like, I don't know. No, I mean, all the Prime games are respected. Oh, regarding. no, I I love... I Metro Prime 3 is probably the weakest of the trilogy. I still love that game. I think Prime 1 is still the best. Yeah, Prime 1 is, is my favorite. Mario Kart 7 was good, I think. Is that Wii? Uh, that's DS. Oh, yeah, that is... Okay, that one's good, too. What the fuck? They've had such a good track record. That's the one with Rob in it. <laughs> and they made Donkey Kong Country... They brought life back into the Donkey Kong series. No, 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 no! Dying, dying, dying! Death, death, death! Make the pain stop! Make the pain stop! All right, now don't get touched by the Dodongo. Ah! <laughs> that did four damage. Don't worry, and it's only a four-hit kill. You need to find some health somehow. I do. Now, one of the perks of having the uh, the volume low is not hearing the low health sound effect. That's very true. Uh, God. Ah! Jesus. I don't... Fuck off! I don't... I'm tired of your bullshit! No health. <laughs> you have six health. Please be a safe station. There's no way. Nope. Just Match, a spider ball It's an track. old game. They're, they're a lot more mean. Where does this take you? I think this goes to Fendrana Drifts. A Talon Overworld? Take it. That place is full of areas where you can get health back.
You know, you have to figure that every time you take damage, it's not actually Samus taking damage. It's just the it's suit. It's just the suit. Is it because she can't breathe on this planet? Is that why she has the suit on? No, I think it's just... I mean, it's just a protective ev- suit. I think everything else on the planet is just so volatile and dangerous. Like, just one blow will kill her. That suit is really impressive. How the fuck did she get... Like, why did the Chozo pick her? What was their purpose? They're just like, eh, fuck it. Let's give her a suit. All... I think... I have the comics in in my phone actually. <clears throat> uh yeah, the Metroid yeah. manga. It's really good. It is really good. You know what else hey. I need to let you borrow? I have the Twilight Princess manga. Not all of it cuz I Yo, have it I do least. too, actually. I I have that. It's really good as well. I do. Link talks. It's weird. It does. But it's actually like good Link dialogue instead of gee sure is boring around here. My boy. My boy. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. (laughs) I just wonder what Ganon's up to. (laughs) When you really sit down and think about the words that are coming out of their mouth. Oh, like someone someone wrote this down and then another person spoke Oak these lines in character. It was people around the office. It was the people designing the game. They're not voice actors. It was just them. They're like, alright, we don't have the budget to hire them. Fuck it. I think they used all their budget to... Because all the animation is hand-drawn. Just think, if Nintendo wasn't, like, a bunch of like, fucking losers with their products, they could have been cool with Sony, and we would have gotten, like, the CD... Like Wait, Nintendo I, 64. I thought that wasn't a Nintendo product, though. The the uh, what is the CDI games? Uh, not the th- what the hell is it called? It's uh, Philips CDI. Philips CD. Thank you. Yes. Uh, it's because Nintendo worked with Sony, and then whatever happened fell through. So then they went off to make the PlayStation. So then Nintendo moved on, and started working with Philips, and that made the CDI. Because Philip also went off on their own and made something else. Because Nintendo can't work with fucking anybody. I mean, they work with... But work. They, they had access to their IPs, and oh boy, did they use them. <laughs> they used them alright. Like, Nintendo really fucked up. <laughs> they really fucked up hard. They never, ever talk about those games. Ever. You can't ask about them at a press conference. <laughs> They'll ignore you. The qu- like, all right, next question. <laughs> Can you comment on uh, Hotel the Wand, of- Wand of Gamelon? Hey, do uh, you have any comments next question. on the live-action fucking shit in Zelda's Adventure? Yeah, right, next question. Zelda's Adventure is the worst of them all. Like, Wand of Gamelon and uh, Link to Faces of Evil are at least playable and have good music. Zelda's Adventure is a shit show. <laughs> it is a miracle of bad game design. And just bad graphics. It looks like you took a picture of Google fucking maps and made a game out of it. (laughs) Oh my god. I feel like I'm (coughs) missing something. I've always thought that an RPG of Google Maps would be really fun. An RPG of Google Maps? You find monsters in like certain areas around the world. I'm not sure how you do it. But it could be fun. Maybe a text-based adventure. Like if you really just want to go lazy, pazy. Oh, well, that's a save point, technically. I really want to... I want to see a game that's based on, like, South Jersey. I mean, there's a show that's based off South Jersey. Really? It is. It's called, uh... It's called Gravity Falls. No shit? Yeah, Gravity Falls is based on South Jersey. I mean, it's the Pine Barrens. It's where we live. Huh. They might even have a Jersey Devil episode, don't quote me on that. But it's it's all about, like, weird shit, like, over there. You you do know what I'm talking about, right? Gravity Falls? Uh, I know of it. I've it's never actually Disney watched it. It's the Disney cartoon. I've never watched it either. Honestly, I feel kind of like I'm destroying the New Jersey culture <laughs> by not watching New it. New Jersey culture. 
the fact that I've just seen more uh, content of Jersey Shore alone makes me feel oh my ill. God. No, that is not Jersey culture. That is a... That's Guido culture uh, in, invading Jersey culture. They are not like, indigenous. We, we are we are the hunt. We are the honeybees. <laughs> They're in the fucking yellow Jersey jackets. Shore is the fucking wasps. They're the yellow jackets, which also apparently are uh, indigenous. I, I lied. Apparently that is our wasp. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, I would take yellow jackets any day of the week over some of the shit that's in other countries. That's true. Oh god, these what guys. What the fuck? Space pirates already. Oh, you're going towards the ship. The I'm yeah, I'm going towards the crash ship. I'm going here way too early too. You are. Is there anything? Oh yeah, there's phase on first uh, instance Faison. of that. This may be the phase on compound the space parts we're using in the biological experiments. Ah, God, yeah, God, that's that bad. Really bad, bad shit. What is it even made of? Phase on. Yeah. It's like dark energy. Just radioactive isotopes. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, actually. It's it's like nuclear, nuclear war. Yeah, it's space nuclear energy. It's probably just even fucking worse than nuclear energy. Which is saying a lot. You know, I was watching a video yesterday on my ride home from work about how fucking awful the situation in the Cold War was at some points. It was a very fascinating video. Hmm, the Cold War? Yeah. Like with Stanley... There, there was this guy named Stanley Petrov. And he... or I don't know if his first name was Stanley. I think it was like something Petrov. Uh, in the USSR. And his job was uh, to monitor shit coming into the country and like report it. So... If there was ever, like, missiles approaching the USSR, <laughs> his job was to report whether or not it was a false alarm or not. Oh. And, uh, apparently... Oh, the, imagine the pressure. Yeah. He is, uh... He was described as having all the power in the world but no agency. Which is, like, the worst position you can be in. Because he, he could have started World War Three if he, like, saw something... And they, they probably wouldn't have doubted saw him. Something. Yeah, yeah. They, like in US, there's a bunch of checks and balances. Uh, there, there's no checks and balances in the old USSR. They were just like, eh, you know, fuck it. Uh, it's probably correct. Let's blast him. And uh, one day there was a there was a false alarm because it looked like five missiles were approaching uh, Russia. And yeah. he decided, in his in his infinite wisdom, he's like, you know. The U.S. was actually attacking us. They wouldn't send over five missiles. They'd send over, like, a fucking shitload. Oh, uh, yeah, they'd be sending, like, all of them. They'd, they'd be sending a lot. So he decided it was a false alarm. And we lived that day because of him. Oh. He's a, he's a good guy, and Unsung he retired. Hero. Yeah, he died in, like, 2017. Oh. Good for him. Nobody ever talks about this poor bastard. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> he, he just... He existed. We learned about the fact that that happened like 10 years after, and we're like, oh shit. Damn it, going the wrong the way. The world guys. literally almost ended. <clears throat> what a weird world we live in. I mean, the Cuban Missile Crisis was also pretty horrible. And that's something we all heard about. That was like the start of duck and cover and other nonsense like that. So imagine what Phazon's like. It's probably way worse. <laughs> Especially because it's owned by the space pirates, who are just a bunch of assholes who don't care about the agency that they lead. If there even is an agency. I mean, I guess there is. I assume Ridley has a lot. You know, what is Ridley's, like, goal? Just just to earn money, I guess? Space money? I guess. I mean, I guess... He's a pirate. What's the, what's the goal of any pirate captain? Uh... To make money and earn a yeah, living just using be, just illegal... be rich with illegal yeah. methods. Illegal methods. So, I guess Ridley maybe he's sells... A he's Ridley a probably boss. sells weapons. He's a to... mob boss, and he owns a pizza shop as a front. Yeah. <laughs> that has to be it. Ridley's Pizzeria. Ridley's Pizzeria. <laughs> and it was so popular that he gave up mobbing and became a Smash character. Yeah, of course. Where the fuck am I going? A really bad Smash character, but no Smash character. 
Ridley's fun to play. He's bad. What, is it just because he's broken? He is very strong. No, 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 no. He's he's actually not a very good character. He's not a very good heavy. Donkey Kong is really good in Smash 5. So is, uh... Bowser? Or Ganondorf? Yeah, Bowser's okay. Ganondorf became insane in 5. Uh, like, they, all th those three are, like, the main Because they extended heavies. his range, so... And they gave him super armor. Well, he always had super armor. Well, they gave him more super armor. Because he needed more, apparently. Yeah, those those three heavies are really good. Uh, Samus is also technically a heavy, and she's really good, too. You see, like, look, they make that boss a joke now. You just dodge once, shoot uh, him in the butt. Dead. True. Yeah. The other heavies are not so lucky. King K. Rool's pretty bad. DDD's okay. I think he's, like, mid-range heavy. All the heavies are usually bad. Lucian is broken. Like, any, any of the lighter characters have just become insane. Depending on what their kit is. All the Fire Emblem characters are good. Every last one of them is good. They made them way too good. And it makes me kind of upset because I like the Fire Emblem characters just because of their games. But everyone thinks I'm being meta. I'm like, no. I just like Lucina, okay? Actually, that's a lie. Corrin's not that good. I hate Corrin. Corrin's okay. I actually really fucking hate Corrin. <coughs> Why? Like, as a character or as... As... Fighting him? Both. But she's barefoot waifu. Yeah, I... I it, there's something about fighting wearing... Wearing a suit of armor... But then just while, not wearing shoes. While, bearing, while barefoot. It's, it's it, kind of badass. It bothers me. That requires a wave beam. It's because that, that she can transform into a dragon, so she really doesn't need to wear shoes. Energy core. You know, I almost feel like you're like, handicapping yourself somewhat if you wear shoes. I mean, obviously, you can run better, but like, there's there's like grip. In your toes that you could be using. Yeah, and that shit hurts when you use your grip. Yeah, well, you know, you can like, I don't know, maybe someone like throws a rocket, you can like grip it with your foot and like yeah, throw it back. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, fucking no. It's always better to have shoes on. It, it, it's better. I don't know why corn's barefoot. I don't think it's ever. Ex no one ever references it. They're just like, all right, yeah, let's keep walking, and corn's just barefoot. I mean, Azura is also barefoot, but she's a dancer, so that makes that, a little that's bit more fine. sense. That makes sense. I mean, she goes around stabbing things with a lance, but she's, like, barefoot. For some reason, Corrin's I, barefoot. Yeah, but does she wear, like, a full suit of armor like Corrin does? No, she wears a very pretty dress. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you wear a full suit of armor, but from the ankles down, you're completely exposed? The <laughs> best part, no matter what fucking, like, class you reclass him into, still stays barefoot. <laughs> so it's like a hulking berserker, barefoot, armor knight. Barefoot. I mean, a berserker would actually kind of make sense being um, barefoot. I guess, but like you'd think they'd wear feet pads like, then. Yeah, like, they wear wrappings. Because berserkers are kind of like Neanderthals. They're like crazy-ish. But and the corn's just barefoot because uh, waifu, and some people are into that. Oh, it's the cauldron. That's my favorite. That's like the quickest way you can die in this game. Is by turning into a morph ball in that cauldron. Oh, when the acid's on. Yeah, when the acid's on. But the yeah, acid's cooked gone. Cooked Samus. How do I get to that fucking furnace or whatever? Uh, where are you trying to go? There. Uh, okay. so I'm going the right way. Get over there. I guess so. Let's see, which door do I have to go to? The, this one right here. Eve. Ugh. At least it's just water now. Do you think the Zoomers have a problem with their relatives calling them boomers? Are, what now? Do you think like the Zoomers have like this whole cultural thing like, oh, you're such a Zoomer nowadays. God damn it. 
Awesome. You're such a boomer. Like the zoomers are like the kids. But the the boomers are like the old ones. Ross. <laughs> I don't want to have to tell you to shut up in your own house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you gotta figure if your name is Zoomer you're just asking for it could you imagine going to school with a kid named Zoomer be like hey hey look here comes Zoomer he'd be bullied so bad I don't know he'd probably at first he'd be like super bullied, but then he'd unless, be like the coolest kid ever. Unless he was really good at running, in which case that'd be the only reason the the name would be justified. If he wasn't good at running and he was called Zoomer, oh boy. I mean, maybe he's like a fast bike rider or a, <laughs> or a skateboarder or a car driver. Okay, if you're <laughs> he's just a fast car driver, he's a fucking he's psychopath. a race car driver. <laughs> he's a race car driver in what middle school? Yeah. Okay. Sub zoomer. Nice car. A kid. You'd have to have like a really cool voice too in order for it to work. Can't just be like, hi guys. <coughs> How's it going? Hi. I'm Zoomer. <laughs> no. I think it'd be hard to be named Zoomer in your life. It's probably even harder to be named Ross. No, Ross is really easy. <laughs> Everyone just calls you boss. It's like the best name. God damn it. It works easy. You know what fucking sucks? Be named Ian. I am. Because that... Exactly. <laughs> right there. Sean. <laughs> was his name Sean? I forget. There was a kid on the bus in middle school that used to make fun of Ian. Oh my god. He was like really young too. <laughs> He's just an asshole. Oh my god, that kid's a piece of shit. <laughs> he, he no, was yeah, what though. his name? I think his name was Sean. I think it was a fine kid though. I'm pretty sure he was just playing around. I'm not sure. This is a weird room. This is the furnace. No, I don't think so. That's no, furnace. it is the furnace. What the fuck? There's probably another way to enter it. You're just in like a bottom area underneath of it. <clears throat> Yeah, you're you're gated off. You can probably like stand above that platform later on. I don't know. How did an energy tank get underneath? I know here? why. Why did I have to get notified about an energy tank? I mean, not that I don't appreciate it. Usually, when new areas crop up, the game just notifies you regardless of whether or not you can do anything there. That's just some two thousand one logic for you. You know, I keep saying 2001, it's 2002. It's probably 2001 in Japan, though. So, it, it works out. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Foreign, Foreign technology, technology present. present. It's the ship. Right? No, it's Magmore Caverns. Oh, uh, we went through the wrong elevator in Magmore Caverns. Oh, yeah, we obviously did. You huh? could have, you could have kept going through Magmore Shit, Caverns. Shit, how do we get to Magmore Caverns now? Uh, back through Floragra. Oh, we gotta go through the Sun Chamber again. Yep. 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 I yep. wish we could. It would just like, gosh, if only we'd leave like. I mean, you got an extra energy tank, so that was good. It wasn't a total waste of time. Got to explore, check some things, scan some stuff. We have twenty five missiles now, which is a very solid number. <coughs> Here. Die. Eyeball lasers. Ions. How do those eyeball lasers eat? That's what I was wondering, actually. Do they just photosynthesis, but whenever something comes by, they shoot them? But, like, shit, why? Maybe. What is What is their purpose? I think that's always the question you have to ask whenever you run into an enemy. How has, do you eat? Like, yeah, how, how how do you eat? How do you live? What is your day-to-day -day life? Like, the tentacles that come out of the wall, I guess they just grab things and, like, yeah, pull they it back in? They probably, yeah, they probably skewer things and then pull them back into their holes. That yeah, they have eyeballs on sense. their tentacles. 
it, it feels very kind of productive because then like you just stick it out in front of a bee, the bee sting dry ball, and you're like, oh, I guess that's game over for my life. Like bees are hive mind, that makes sense. I'm not sure exactly what they eat, but probably like trees and like planks of wood. I mean, no, they probably eat the the sap sacks. But they can't eat the sap sacks. They could before they could explode, but now that they can explode, I don't, I don't Maybe. fucking know. We're gonna teach bio, teach uh, Talon Metroid. for Talon for biology, Metroid biology, Metroidology. It's called Talon Four. That means there's a Talon One through like three. <laughs> Talon IV. So the Chozo aren't extinct, they just moved elsewhere, right? Uh, yeah, the Chozo are on, like, they're on a bunch of different planets. They're on planet Zebus, planet Talon 4. Chozo get around. They do. Humans don't get around. No, they don't. Yeah, hey, what's up with humans? The fuck? We suck. We are a shitty species. <laughs> Compared to all these other space races, which are way stronger than we are. I think the only species shittier than human beings are space pirates. Yeah, no. Oh, what the actual hell? How? What? Why? What am I supposed to do now? You can't get through that? I can't get through that! Can you use the flamethrower? Oh, wait a minute. Ruined fountain. Why would they even do that? Like... <laughs> That's such a 2002 thing to do. That's such an old video gaming thing to do. Just to block it off, just to fuck with you. That's like an ocarina well, I mean, of time. I mean, come on, I only backtracked here by accident anyway. Fuck off. It's, it's like an ocarina of time, where you get into that room where you get the slingshot and the great deco tree. <laughs> And the, the door's locked after you enter it, so you have to shoot the eyeball. But then people do Ocarina of Time randomizers, so sometimes the slingshot's not even in that chest. Which means you're just stuck in the room unless you use the platform to leave. But if you use it to get to the chest, then you just, you lose. You have to reset the game. <laughs> you know, we should do an Ocarina of Time randomizer. I would be so down for that, actually. It's really fun, but you have to know where literally everything is. Including random nonsense chests in, like, caves and shit. There's also a link to the past randomizer. And there's a link to the past mixed with Super Metroid randomizer. Oh. It is, like, you can enter teleportation portals in, like, houses and places. And it warps you to the other game. It's <laughs> kind of crazy. But I don't know either game well enough. I know you probably do. Yeah, I know. I know both games pretty well. I mean, Link to the Past maybe not as much because again, Link you'd have to like enter a bunch of. Link to the Past is very forgiving, though. It is, but there's like a lot of doors that you have to enter, like a lot of caves you have to bomb that aren't like super obvious. Super Metroid, though, on the other hand, like gives you plenty to work off of yeah, from the very beginning. In Super Metroid, yeah, you can skip a lot of obstacles <coughs> if you know what you're doing. And if you get stuff early. Because you can also pick up Super Metroid and Link to the Past items and vice versa in their in the other game. Out of order. You pick them out of order because it's a randomizer, but you also uh, pick them up in the other game. So you'll just be walking around and you'll pick up like a missile expansion in Link to the Past. <laughs> Looks like, oh, I know what this is. Alright, let's see. Where am I going? So I gotta go... Not here... I gotta go. You have to go back to where we went through the elevator. <laughs> so that would mean Plaza going back access. to that room. So you'd have to jump off here and go left. I gotta go to my right. I gotta go... Left. I believe. Actually, no, maybe it is right. Oh, no. I gotta get up there. No, you don't. That's how I get to the elevator. No, it doesn't. Is it? How do you get up there? I don't think I do. That's where the energy tank was. I think I know how to do it. Let me see that. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what you got. Watch this MLB shot. Oh wait, no, she points the camera down. I did it. <laughs> All right, 
right, fuck off. Uh, it's right over here, I think. There's only two doors in this room. Is there only two? I could have sworn there was another. It shows you on the map. Yep, that's it. Going back to Talon Overworld. All right. I don't think we're going the right way. This is where you I went. I somehow believe. got to, or got from Magmore Caverns. And this would take you down to north. Can we go to the other map? All right, let's look at it this way. So this is where you entered, went through here, this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, and I went. The other way. There. Yeah. Talon Overworld West, so that's where we're gonna go. Okay. I think that's from north, you can get to west, right? Hopefully we can get there. It just sort of looks around like, huh, this is happening. I mean, it's not like she has a phone to play with while she's going down the elevator. You know, she should invest in, like, a phone in her suit. That would be a good investment. I think it would be well made. Alright. Now, I think there's a way to go from here. Tell me if you see a teleporter. That's west. Wait. Didn't say it was from west? Oh, there you go. It's nine more caverns. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Uh, you just gotta go up this way. Let's go up there. Can I jump? Shoot no, I the can't. zoomer. Shoot the boomer. Alright, all right, what is that red one called? Is it a boomer? Uh, what red one? The spiky uh, guy? Yeah, the extra spiky guy. The yeah, that one. That uh, one. Uh, Gamer. He's a MLG Gamer. All right. This game is a very dark. I mean, kind of supposed to be. Yeah. All right. This is it. You gotta shoot the thing that comes out of its mouth. There you go. That worked. What's to prevent you from going to Magmore Cabins here earlier? Oh, all this nonsense. There is a plasma door up there. There is. You need the double jump to get up there, though. Probably a whole bunch of other things, too. Did I fall down too far? No, I think you're good, actually. This is what I remember. I remember you running into a bunch of these losers the second you walked down here. Alright, there you go, door. Ah, you saved me, Ross. I suppose I've gotten better at backtracking as the years <laughs> have gone along, somehow. Maybe enough Tales games and Ross stupid ass learns. sun chamber not, uh, been blocked? Yeah, that would have just been nice, but that then you also would have had to backtrack the Magmar. Hmm. Like, I'm okay with blocking paths when you don't have a certain thing, but when you collect something, then they block, block the off. path? Yeah. 